This is a condition that might go undiagnosed until the child reaches either junior high or high school, and then the child participates in sports where they're doing a lot of exertion, a lot of exercise. They might say, coach, I'm starting to get short of breath. I'm just tired or I'm having chest pain, or the child might actually faint because not enough blood is getting to the brain. This is so important. This is the reason why we do these segments. We want the community to know, don't ignore. When I was young, if a child maybe had these symptoms, the coach would say, get back in there, you're just weak. And uh, th that's the way it was back then. But now because of WJTV and smart, educating opportunities like this, we're letting the coaches know and the parents, if the child is saying they're very tired, have problems breathing, take them to their medical provider to be evaluated because they might have this condition. Uh, basically an EKG or an echocardiogram can diagnose it and then that child can be treated where they won't possibly lose their life. Yeah, and, and you hear heart disease and people get really concerned really quickly. Is it mm -hmm. something that they can continue playing sports with? They just got to go get it checked out? Well, in 2024, there's a lot of technology out there we didn't have when I was coming up back in 1934. <laughs> but basically, there are different medications, there are surgical procedures that can very effectively treat this condition. So now the doctors, the cardiologists are not telling the children you can't play anymore. They're, they're treating in a lot of cases if it's a treatable uh, level of the condition. Yeah, so don't don't be scared if you have this that all of a sudden your athletic career is necessarily over, but it will be over if you don't get it checked out. So there's the, you know, Blake point in this. So Dr. Quinn, dig a little deeper. Symptoms. You, you, you told us a few. Shortness of breath. What are some other ones? A person can have shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, or they could just faint like LeBron James's son did. Now, it was not noted that Bronny James had this specific condition. The, the, the LeBron's family, the James family, they just listed it as a congenital heart condition. Basically, what that means is that whatever condition he had, he was born with. It might have been an atrial septal defect or ventricular septal defect, which is more probable because they were able to treat it. He's out there hooping like Dr. Quinn with the <laughs> NBA doing well, it, it probably was not hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, even though they never specifically listed what the condition was. Right. So, so you know, if they faint, obviously you got to go get them checked out. It's not, oh, he just maybe got, oh, he or she got overworked. It could be something uh, serious. We got about 40 more seconds. Last few details on this before I ask you the question of the day. Most important, don't ignore warning signs. Warning signs are shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, fainting, don't ignore it. Take that child to be evaluated by their medical provider and don't just say, get back out there. Hey, think times have changed, but you know what? Tough love is good love, but it's gotta be smart, tough love at the same smart. time.